Hi, this is Jonathan Smith. Uh, today video I am going to cover using Springs Java Config to configure your Springs application instead of XML. Uh, you might have read about my sample today on Springs Source website. Uh, I was in this week in Springs on their website today showing this example and I decided to do a video for it today too. Uh, but if you go to my website, jonathanmarksmith.com, you could see I posted the example online, and it's pretty much the example that they have in the blog. And from this example, you could read about exactly why you should use Spring Configuration instead of using Spring's XML, the old style way of doing things. Uh, what I'm going to go through now is actually I'm going to open up IntelliJ and go through the sample Springs application that is used in the uh, blog and I'm going to show you how to use Springs Java Config instead of XML. Uh, a lot of you programmers might be doing Springs a lot of years like I have and uh, you've been using XMLs to do your configuration of your beans, of your database connectivity and your hybrid aid. Uh, that's very old school. We're trying not to use XML anymore and we're trying to do, do everything in Java Config. So now let me bring you into the sample application. Okay, as you can see, I'm using IntelliJ. It's one of the best IDEs out there for coding. And I'm in my project, which you can actually download from GitHub. And again, uh, 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 the link is on my website, jonathanmarksmith.com. You can find the link to my GitHub project. And you can check it out at GitHub and actually bring it into uh, but then Eclipse or else IntelliJ or else even VI but actually I just want to bring out some main points this is my main class and the main method of the project and as you see I'm using this config application contents but it's not pointing to an XML file anymore it's actually pointing to a file called hello world configuration class and this is one of the main differences this difference is I'm not using an XML file anymore I'm using a Java class to do it. Now, let's open up that class just so you can see. As you see, there's a configuration in that case, and I'm importing a database config class. I really don't talk about that much on the blog and on the uh, Spring Source website, but I will maybe touch it in this demo just to show you what's going on. Basically, my configuration has uh, one bean. It's called a hello world bean. And, and it gets a property out of a property file. And, and as you can see up here, I use application property. And I'm going to open up my resource to show you the application property right there. And the bean.txt equals I love New York for the first thing. Then I have some hibernate stuff here. Now let's go back. So as you see, this is the new style of doing it inside the clip. And this would actually be the old style of how I would do it in a XML file. I would have did beans, the bean ID, the class, and then beans. I like doing it in a Java config slash Springs configuration file because it's a lot easier this way. Let's open up the database configuration class for this demo. I know I don't touch it in the blog, but I am going to touch it here. Basically, as you can see, I'm making a data source to a HSQ data, database. Uh, sorry, I mean that. Yeah. And and there, as you can see, there's the class, there's the login. I'm doing everything inside Java code. There's really no need to use XML anymore. That's really old school and old way of doing it. So as you see, basically, the main class is right here. It, call, it says use this configuration. The configuration is now a Java class. And that actually, this brings in my database configuration. So if you wanted to run this example, as you see, it will start. And it runs a lot quicker using the Java config classes and not the XML classes. And as you can see, there's my output. Very quick, very easy. Um, it's, it's very simple to do. And, and, and if anyone needs help in trying to set up your project, using Java config classes instead of XML, please feel free to find me on my website, jonathanmarksmith.com. And I just want to show, show you something, because if you're doing JUnit tests like I do, you might 
be using the same classes and you might not I happen to use the same class for my test but you could have very easily made a different configuration class to go to a different database and actually did your sample that way so again uh, please feel free if you have any questions about this to go to my website let's try to bring it up one more time it's jonathanmarksmith.com and, and again you can find this example if you want right here there's a link where it says I was published in This Week in Springs. If you click on there, it has some little stuff on the top, but it will bring you right down to the ex example that we just did online. And uh, feel free to go through it. And if you have any questions, please let me know. Go to GitHub, uh, download it, and please let me know if I could help anyway. Thank you.